It was supposed to be a celebration of 10 years of the Waterside Theatre in Aylesbury. Instead, it became a reflection of the impact of lockdown on the arts. Local artist Peter Keegan was commissioned to be the very first artist in residence at the theatre. Within weeks, though, the doors were shut and no performances were taking place. That didn't stop Peter from painting, though, as Brennan Nichols has been finding out. They say the show must go on, but what if there are no shows? How can an artist paint their muse if there are no sittings? These were the dilemmas Peter Keegan had to conquer. I started a series of paintings at the beginning of 2020 and then suddenly everything stopped. And we had a difficult decision of do we carry on the residency or like the impact of Covid, do we stop? I'm really proud to have seen how that story has unfolded and how I was able to give a deep insight from the theatre of when it was full and busy and full of people to that very quiet time when there was no one in the theatre at all apart from one lone worker. The one-year residency has just concluded after two. What's been captured shows life in the arts through a pandemic. Coming to a venue that is normally full of life with your friends, we're, you know, we are family as much as we are work colleagues, and to have to walk every level of the building to check no pipes leaked, no nothing's burst, that no one's broken in, just trying to mix up a different route every third day of a week because you hear your own footsteps, you hear your own echo, you hear every door close. And the reason that green is in is the complementary colour to the red. With the lockdown finally behind them, shows like the Panto finally returned. Oh yes, they did. I think what he's done is he's really captured what Panto is all about in that picture, which is incredibly hard to do. You know, you look at that face, you know, he's having a whale of a time on stage. And I look at that and go, oh, I wish I was in the audience when he was doing that. Peter's work has been hung at the theatre as a reminder of the scale of the disruption. You know, I've always thought that theatre is a great uh, way for people to escape from the everyday. You come for two hours and you forget about the bad that's going on at home or the struggle you've got at school and just for that two and a half hours you're totally transformed and transfixed to another place. Doing this residency has I think made me a better painter. It's given me an opportunity to really think deep about the way that I paint, what I want to capture and why, what is the story that I'm trying to tell. It's allowed me to work on a scale that I've never been able to work before. The largest painting in this collection is 10 feet tall, um, something I wouldn't usually be able to do. Theatre goers and the public can take in the free exhibition, pausing for a moment to reflect before their own shows must go on. Brenna Nichols, BBC South Today.